Our next awardee is Kathleen Tobin Kruger, and here's a video. My, my greatest pride, frankly, resides in raising my children and being a mother. And honestly, that supersedes anything else that the public might see as, as sort of lofty accomplishments. Uh, aside from my children, and I, and I mean that genuinely, that being a mother to me is the greatest gift in the world. But working for Hope Hospice now to support those who are helping patients at the end of their lives is to me quite sacred work. And every day I walk into the office at Hope Hospice, I feel genuinely blessed to be a part of a sacred mission such as hospice and grief counseling. I have been engaged in three statewide campaigns, two ambassadorships, and I can tell you that there was no sort of political campaign more challenging than the Clean River Initiative for the city of New Braunfels. But it is probably my proudest political achievement, along with many others, to have accomplished the Kanban. Because if we are not stewards for the next generation, then, then what are we? What is more important than protecting our natural environment the opposition to the Kanban was uh, strenuous, uh, criminal, and I mean that genuinely, uh, abusive and, and immoral, frankly. But we succeeded, and I'm very, very pleased that, that we did, and by we, I really mean that the Rivers did. The, the American sociologist Margaret Mead said, Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's all that ever has. And I think we see examples throughout the world of single individuals who rise up to speak out against injustice, immorality, pollution, and who have made a real difference. It just takes a leader. It takes someone willing to be that first person over the hill who will get shot at, uh, but will hopefully accomplish something that benefits their, their community, their state, their country, or the world. I think of all of the positions that I've held, of any of the honors that I may have received, I can honestly say there is not one that means more to me than this recognition by a church community that I love so much. Kathleen, would you come up to the platform? <laughs> oh, thank you. My goodness, I'm so touched by this, I can't even tell you. I became a student of Unity almost 40 years ago. I remember my first book that I received, I was telling you this, was called Lessons in Truth. And when I first received it, I was in my early 20s, and I... It didn't make sense to me. Um, and then I think I evolved spiritually, and it was as though the words unscrambled themselves, um, and it all made so much good sense. I spent many, many weeks studying at the Unity School of Christianity in Kansas City, Missouri, and have really been led, guided, and comforted by the philosophy that, that you all embody in this room. And I, am, I really cannot tell you how much this means to me. Thank you so very much.